Hello, Sophia here from my great challenge. Long time, no swatches and stuff. This is June 2016. So for those of you who are new to my channel or totally forgot, swatches and stuff is when I review the products that I've used for the past month. Unfortunately, for some reason, and I think it was because I was sick and then I was broke, there was no swatches and stuff for a couple of months. And I'm not doing a giveaway either this time around because I've decided that I'm going to do a giveaway when I come back from France. That way I can get a giveaway with French stuff that I've gathered just for you for my subscribers when I return from my trip to France. Today is pretty much all makeup and skincare. There's no stuff. I don't know why I keep talking about stuff. But anyway, we're gonna consider some of it to be stuff. All right, so there's a lot of products. I'm always starting from head to toe. So let's start with this one. This is a hair product and this is not cheap, okay? Not cheap at all. This is $22 and some change. This is Living Proof Restore Instant Repair. Now, if you've seen it, online or you've seen it at the store or you've probably seen some advertisement in the newspapers and the magazines this is a brand that is co-owned and sponsored by Jennifer Aniston uh, makes no difference for me I'm not a big fan but anyway she put a name on this and vouch for the quality of the product and I have to say I was quite surprised because it's expensive but it's good sometimes you spend a lot of money and you get crap but this is good so basically this this is a product that's called a complex breakage solution okay instantly mends and transforms so you put it on your hair when it's a damp or when it's dry and you don't need a lot of it you really don't at all so it's worth the $22 investment trust me on that um, I hope you trust my judgment on some of the products but this one I really actually like I have issues with my hair being very freezy in particular when this humidity my hair becomes like totally out of control don't know what to do with it and even when it's not out of control I don't know what to do with it hence the weird um, hairstyle today I just did I was just like just do something and move on uh, so yeah that's what's going on um, this is very good I put it on either way on dry hair or on damp hair or even wet hair after I get out of the shower and it really really does control the freeze it gives me nice curls and it smells wonderful Oh yeah, it smells really, really good. It's flower. It smells like salon product, basically. So it smells like quality. I don't know if quality has a smell, but if it does, it smells like this. I, I'm really happy with this product. I recommend it. I really do. Living Proof Restore Instant Repair. Now, I'm not going to check the shampoos and the uh, conditioners, only because of my issue with nickel and all of that. I didn't look at the ingredients, but this hasn't really touched my scalp. It just touches my hair. Um, so that's the reason why I'm staying away from the shampoo and the conditioner. So yeah, I recommend this product, Living Proof Restore Instant Repair. Not cheap, but worth your money. Next, I've ran out of my skin oil and wanted to try something different. Not that I didn't like it, but I wanted to try something different and that was a little bit less expensive. So I picked up this Even Healy Rose Hip oil and I got this at um, the Whole Food Market and this is actually very very good now this is again this is 25 something dollars this is a rose hip treatment facial serum and it's basically made out of rose hip seed oil which is a great skin repair oil this is the kind of uh, oil that you put on your face but will not make your face very shiny or greasy it won't clog the pores if anything actually this will kind of reduce the appearance of your pores and it's excellent in the summer for sunburn and damaged skin so the other day we went out to Cape May and I got a little bit of a, a sunburn here on my chin and I've been using this ever since and all the little bump from you know the sunburn are gone and the advantage of using this instead of the you know sun repair lotions that you get out there is that my skin actually did not peel afterwards usually when I go out and I do not tan at all I get red I peel and I'm completely porcelain again I do not tan 
whatever. So usually what happens is that I get a sunburn and I put like some treatment on it and then my skin really starts to peel. So when I put my foundation, the foundation gets stuck in between the dead skin. It's awful. I, this helped me a lot. No peeling skin at all. Really like this. It's pretty thick. I'm going to put some on my hand so you can see. So a little bit goes a long way. You see that one pump that's it that's all you need you don't need anything else this will take care of your entire face you can apply it on damp skin or you can apply it on dry skin i personally like to apply it over my toner so what i'll do is that i'll put on a toner and i'll let the toner um, sit on my skin instead of trying to absorb it with a cotton pad and then I'll add this oil over it and blend the two together it's a very very moisturizing super hydrating blends in well smells wonderful it really does gosh I love rose products um, I really do use a lot of rose products and it's been my little thing this year I'm all about roses for my skincare and it seems to work very well um, you see how it absorbs so it leaves a tiny tiny little sheen which is nice it gives a dewy um, appearance to your skin but it's absorbed well I can use it either daytime or nighttime and I'm telling you this has been um, in my bathroom for about two weeks now and look at how much product I've used so you really don't need a lot matter of fact I really wish the pump would provide even less product with just one squirt because I think that the product itself is such good quality that I need even less than one pump so what I do is that I end up putting some on of my hands because this is where age starts to show just to minimize uh, age spots and then I finish off with my neck and my decollete very very good product again this is Evan Healy rose hip treatment serum excellent product I recommend it and all the links to the products are down below by the way very good still in the oil I don't know why I'm all about oils lately but I found this on sale look at the price four dollars and fifty cents at my supermarket this is Burt's Bee nourishing uh, baby bee which is basically a nourishing oil for babies um, I got it really only because it was on super sale and I wanted to try it and I really like the smell this smells just like basically honey and beeswax that's it it's a wonderful scent I really really like it so now I use this after my shower even though it's summertime I shower I stay in the shower I let the water kind of like beat off my body um, don't visualize all right and then I just apply this on with the water so it blends even better it leaves my skin so smooth and scented with the beeswax and the um, honey it's a wonderful product i really like this i don't know if they have it in a bigger bottle i really wish they do and i haven't tried it in a spray bottle usually what i do in the summer and if you watch my channel for a while you probably know that i do that i tend to buy baby oil you know like the johnson and johnson baby oil and i put it in a spray bottle and when i'm in the shower in the summer when the water is still on me i don't dry towel at all i just spray the uh, baby oil all over me and just work the baby oil until i dry it's a wonderful way to get refreshed in the morning and prepared for the day it's not greasy at all it absorbs beautifully and it really really helps my legs my feet my hands the dry part of my elbows throughout the entire summer so baby oils for me even though it's an oil are great products for the hot summer month this is really good so this you can also um, add to bath water if you wanted to, but you got to be very careful. There's a disclaimer on the bottle that the bathtub will be slippery afterwards. Well, that kind of makes sense. But anyway, uh, the main ingredients are apricot and grapeseed oil, and there's also sunflower oil, and then the fragrance that makes it smell like honey and the biggest wax. This is really, really good. Baby Bee by Burt's Bee Nourishing Body Oil love this i think i'm gonna go back to the store and see if they have more on sale at four dollars and fifty cents and just kind of like stock up not that i do that a lot but there's some products that i really really like to the point where i feel like i need to have a uh, um you know an extra bottle for later on plus at this price you can go wrong so yeah 
before I get into makeup, we're going to talk about perfume. Um, you know, you've heard me talk about Bath & Body Works and the warm fragrance that I absolutely love from them, which is Pic Chiffon. And right now, by the way, it's a semi-annual sale, so maybe you want to just run to the store and get yourself a stock of um, Pink Chiffon if you like it. I love it. Personally, it's a very, very sweet um, feminine scent. It's It almost smells like candy. Even though it's not, but it just smells like candy to me and I love it. And I went to the store the other day to purchase the uh, um, regular spray and body lotion because mine were about this much left and the shower gel as well because that's basically what I use in the summertime. And I found that they have the uh, fragrance perfume as well. So this is the Pic Chiffon perfume bottle or the toilette rather um, from Bath & Body Works. The bottle is cute, you know, I mean I don't think this is necessary the height here but anyway. So it opens up like this, like most perfume bottle and the smell is just divine and I love it. I love Pic Chiffon. I'm telling you the day they discontinue Pic Chiffon I will be grieving and I don't know what I'm gonna do with myself because this really the only scent from Bath & Body Works that I have consistently purchased and loved all year long no matter what and it's been like that for quite some time so please Bath & Body Works do not discontinue this scent because I just love it so feminine so fresh um, it's wonderful for the evening you can wear it daytime nighttime at a party in bed anywhere it's wonderful Pic Chiffon love it we're going to talk about makeup um, and there's something I said I was going to review and I'm going to do it now. I went, that's months ago guys, okay, as a matter of fact I think this is like from Christmas time, um, six months ago I went to Bloomingdale's because I was given a gift card and I went straight to the Laura Mercier um, stand because I wanted to try some of the products. I had a lipstick which I've reviewed on this channel from Laura Mercier which I absolutely love. The color, the texture, the formula, everything was wonderful. So I figured let me try more Laura Mercier products. So I purchased two. There's this little thing here which is basically a eye primer, eyeshadow primer and this thing here which is a, a palette. So I'm going to talk about the primer. I'm wearing it today. This is by far and I kid you not, the best eye primer I've ever, ever tried. This is not just a primer, this is also a highlighter. So it comes in different shades. If you go to the store, you'll see them. Um, this one, I think, is the palest shade. I'm going to try to read it without my glasses. Good luck with that, Sophia. It's called Linen. I made it. <laughs> so I'm going to give you a little swatch. Doesn't have any scent. I hope I don't have on my nose. Anyway, so I'm going to give you a little swatch here and you're going to see what I'm talking about. It's very, very pale, but this is such a gorgeous highlighter and primer for my lid because it also gives a tint to my lid. So I tend to have creepy eyelids and I tend to have dark eyelids. Um, and it's not from you know, the makeup that gets into the skin or anything, I just have a discoloration on my lids. So when I put on makeup, it changes the tone of the makeup, but this makes it a nice canvas because it really whitens and evens up the tone of my eyelids and gives that beautiful result. The shadow stays forever on this primer. Love it. A little pricey. I can't remember the price, but I know it's above twenty dollars. I think it's twenty-five, something like that. Uh, but again, this is the Laura Mercier highlighter and primer for your eyelids, and this is the color linen. Beautiful. I have it here all the way underneath my eyelids and I covered the entire lids with it. Um, when I have no makeup and I just do that, it makes me look like I have, um, I came back from a ski trip, like the whole skin around it is darker and then I have those big white goggles um, on my face. But this is really, really good. This product I will repurchase for sure. Now, this right here. Wow. <laughs> Wow, this is a palette and it's called the Extreme Neutral Eyeshadow Palette, okay, by Laura Mercier. Look at how sleek this is, a beautiful leather type pattern with some bronze on it. It opens this way, so it's got the little flap here, it's magnetized, it's a little heavy, but it's beautifully done. It's got some serious, serious money invested in the setup of the palette itself. And here I 
the eyeshadow so you can see that I've had it for some time because I'm putting dents in everything so now I'm gonna do swatches on all of the colors and we're gonna talk about this I'm wearing it today um, I just realized I never removed the uh, thing on the mirror I guess because I never use the mirrors anyway so there you go it's gone um, this has to be the biggest disappointment of the year for me <laughs> this is by far the worst palette I've spent money on in years and you've seen me review palettes all the time and you know I got a lot of palette I was super excited to get this and bring it home and play with it I think I done every possible combination of eyeshadows out of this palette to try desperately to get something out of it and I got nothing this I kid you not is the worst palette it's awful and I'm gonna tell you really quick why first of all the payoff sucks there is no payoff on this at all like you have to dig in with your brush or whatever you're using to try to get some color out of this they all blend in to a point where once you're done applying your makeup and you're doing different combination all you get is a gray blob on your eyelids they do not contrast well with one another at all the definition of some of them is just so poor that I I just I don't know what to say other than this is the worst palette I ever put money in and I paid $52 for this I'm so mad at myself but I'm still using a couple of shadows in there so I'm gonna go um, as usual one two three four and we're gonna do just a, a quick um, swatch so they look gorgeous when you put them on your fingers but that's because I'm heavy on the fingers digging into this thing to try to get you some color so here we go we got two here so this is not bad okay so far so good right okay so then we got those two here and I really wanted the purple to be gorgeous but look at this purple ends up being a gun smoke this here that turns out to look yellow is this light pink here now you tell me how a light pink turns yellow I do not know okay uh, then we got these two here which are pretty much similar so we're gonna put them next to the other ones okay all right that and then there is a gold and lavender I'm gonna put them right here all right find the lavender for me because I don't know where it is and then the gold looks pink okay it's this one all right nope and then I got those two here more brown I'm gonna put them right here all right okay and then more brown because apparently uh, brown is the new black I guess okay that's what they look like terrible terrible this is a terrible palette and those colors I don't know I mean they are so similar it's it's just like it makes no difference whatsoever what I put on my eyes let me give you a quick close-up I have this one here as a base I have um, this one here on the arch of my brows I have this one on my eyelid I have the dark purple in my crease and then the uh, darker brown here on the V of my eyes and then I have the gold in the middle now look at my eyes and you tell me if you can tell because I know I can't all right so here we go all right uh, supposedly I got five different colors here they all blend into a brown do you see purple I don't I don't see purple they're supposed to be um, a purple here and then this lavender there I'm sorry they have no payoff whatsoever horrible so disappointed with this palette and I'm telling you I played with it for six months now and I just I sometimes I force myself to play with it because I'm like there's got to be something in there for me there's got to be and there's nothing there's nothing Laura Mercier this is horrible terrible palette what a scam not happy at all stop getting on the palette bandwagon if you can't back up your products like the um copper one right here the dark one is so loose when i put my brush in this fallout everywhere the mattes are just okay they end up being yellow on my skin no horrible stay away from this stay away laura mercier extreme natural what is it called eyeshadow palette what well, I'm extremely discontent with this 
moving right along. Okay, uh, so let's talk about something that actually made me happy. <laughs> this is uh, In Stain by The Bomb, and you've probably seen them. They're cute little packages, and there's about, I'm gonna say six, but it might be just five shades. So basically, these are long wearing blushes. So they come in this little package. Like most of the Balm stuff, it's in, you know, uh, cardboard. This is really cute. The one I purchased is Hound's Tooth. Let me show you the name right here. Hound's Tooth. Okay. And it comes like this with a little magnet. Love the Balm. All right. And these are fabulous. First of all, this is long wear, so you put it on and it stays on all day. No joke, stays on all day. Don't have to reapply at all. Um, this is what this one looks like. I'm gonna do a swatch right here. And they are so pretty, you can build. So this is just one pass, and I'm gonna do one with two passes so you can see how you can build the color. And then here's a third pass. So if you really, really want some serious contrast, or if you just want a little bit. So here, you see? This stays on, stays on, stays on, stays on. I have it on today. I really, really like this. And I think I'm going to purchase some other colors. Now, they have some colors that are a little bit over the top, like really pink neon. But that one is actually very pretty. And it looks more like the uh, Passion from e.l.f., which I like a lot. This is very, very pretty. These are not too expensive. They're in, you know, 20-something. Um, but they're high quality. And you do have a lot of product in here. So if you have a good quality brush that's not going to put too much dent into your product, you're going to have a blush for quite some time. I love this. It's sleek. I love the little packaging. I don't really care for this because, I mean, you know, I put it back in just for you guys, but really I don't need to have it because it's magnetized. But they are really, really cute packaging. It's good quality. They are really, really nice. And they are matte. That's the beauty of it. I love matte blushes. So, yeah, this is the In Stain by The Balm. Really, really recommend this as well. I just love it. Check out the other colors. I think that you'll be very impressed by the quality, the staying power, the payoff. Everything about it is wonderful. Really, really nice. All right, last product. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you probably remember when I did a makeup graveyard. Links are up there or down below. Um, I was talking about a lipstick that I had for years and over 10 years I've had that lipstick and I've parted with it because I said, well, you know, I mean, what am I going to keep a lipstick that long? That's just ridiculous. So I finally repurchased it. It's the Clinique um, Raspberry Rush the bamboo uh, design. I love that lipstick. I'm wearing it right now. I just love it. It's such a pretty color. Now, I have to be honest, for some reason, I don't know if they changed the formula on it, but it doesn't look as red as it used to. Here's a uh, little swatch for you. So it's definitely a raspberry color. It's got a beautiful formula. It's very buttery. I love this. I really do. I think this is a good color for me. It's neither too rosy nor too bricky. It's, uh, it's a nice color for daytime. It's a nice color for nighttime as well. I've worn it a couple of times at big event and really felt that it complemented my skin tone. So this is really my go-to lipstick. I'm glad I repurchased it. The only thing is that this lipstick really doesn't do well in super hot weather. It just melts away and then you end up being very gooey. So the formula itself, I think they've changed a little bit. Um, I, I would have no way of proving that, of course, but I don't remember this lipstick being melting like this during summer months because I used to wear it like all year long. So I don't know, for some reason, it changed, um, but it's still an excellent quality. It's Clinique. It's a beautiful color. It stays on for a while. It doesn't bleed into um, outer corner of my mouth at all. It's a very, very pretty feminine color. I love it. I really do. Raspberry Rush by Clinique. And I have to say that this one, for some reason, has to be very popular because I did actually go back to the store a couple of times and each time they were out of stock. And she said, well, I can order it for you. I was like, well, now I'll come back. And, and that's the way I am. I'd rather come back and find it and be excited about finding it. I don't know. I'm weird like that. Okay, let's, whatever. Um, so I finally got it the third time around. So third time was the charm. And the uh, um, top here has a little bit of a mirror so you can check yourself. I'm not that it's that big, but anyway, 
Clinique Raspberry Rush really recommend that color. So that's it for swatches and stuff. So you see, there wasn't a lot of products. I haven't purchased a lot of stuff in the past couple of months, um, probably because we are preparing for a trip to France and I'd rather put my money towards the luggage. <laughs> we're gonna need luggage. And uh, I, need, I need a whole bunch of stuff before we go. I need to buy a different tripod. I need to buy um, a boom microphone because I'm gonna vlog every single day when we're there and I need to not change my camera but I'm going to get new batteries battery packs for the camera there's a whole bunch of stuff that I need to get before we leave that's more important to me than yet another eye palette Laura Messier thank you but no thanks really Ugh so upset about this anyway so this was Sophia for my great challenge again all the links are down below if you're interested in checking them out and anything that's on Amazon as a link just a reminder this is an affiliate um, Amazon link so whenever you purchase something I get you know something out of it that's how I support my channel okay so that's about it um I'll see you next time for another swatches and stuff I have a few videos I need to do today um, for review views and stuff. I was going to do my um, Ipsy Glam Bag but I decided not to. I will wait for next weekend because there's a product in there I didn't try. So I didn't want to give you a quick review and tell you oh that sounds great. Like you don't want to hear that sounds great. You want to hear is it good or not. Pretty much. Alright. So I will talk to you next time. Thank you for watching. Bye.